UFC super fan, we are back doing another personal recap from the 2014 Fan Expo. I bet you guys are getting really tired of these personal recaps. This is like my eighth one, but uh, I like them. I enjoy kind of sharing my experiences and um, just meeting the fighters because um, I, I think so very few sports allow fans to meet the fighters or meet the athletes really close up and you know mingle and chat with them so uh, I definitely want to share my experiences I never thought I would be doing one about this guy Michael the Count Bisping um, I typically only do it for fighters that I'm a really really big fan of um, I'm kind of torn on Michael Bisping um, you hear a lot uh, of his trash talk and I think it turns a lot of people off and people love to hate this guy and I w can easily say that I was one of those people but after meeting him in person I have done a total 180 and I now consider him um, one of the more interesting characters in the UFC and whether he's um, hated, loved, whatever, he's, he's there and, and he's definitely uh, one of the mainstays of, uh, of the UFC. So anyways, um, I met the Count, if you can see it here. So I met him at Alienware, same thing with Jens Pulver from the video, um, from the previous video. Um, he was with Amir Sadala, Brittany Palmer, who no showed, different story, but Michael Bisping did show up. So let me get a close up of this autograph. So nice. I don't know if you guys can see the glare, see it through the glare, but a decent autograph. Um, he did like this best wishes thing, so he definitely takes the time to uh, sign his autographs. Um, the Alienware promo card is decent. Um, the jersey um, has their logo, Facebook, Twitter, all that. Now, one of the big reasons why I am, uh, I guess, now a fan um, of, of Michael Bisping was that when I met him, he had this really bad eye thing. And it sounds weird, but... I guess he had taken a whole lot of pictures and just like the constant flashes, um, his eye was really messed up. Like it wasn't like pink eye or anything, but it just was watering. So I didn't get a picture with him. I just got an autograph and he was still cool enough to just, you know, still take pictures, still sign autographs, even though his eye was really, really in bad shape. Um, and I think that just goes to show how good of a, how, to, how good he is to the fans. Either that or he just wanted to collect, you know, uh, some sponsorship money from Alienware. But either way, you know, I think major props to him for just being there, signing autographs, taking pictures when he doesn't need the money. He didn't need to be there. He could have been somewhere else. So um, major props to him for that. And I also had him sign another autograph. So, um, Major, major props to him. Um, very nice guy uh, for doing that. So I, like I said, did a 180 on him. Uh, I, I will now probably support him a little more than I'm used to uh, or have been in the past. Um, Michael Bisping's career has been a little bit interesting um, over the last, you know, several fights. Uh, it's like a who's who of who he's fought. He's fought everyone from Chael Sonnen to Vitor. Brian Stan, Mayhem Miller, Vondale, uh, Hendo, um, Rashad Evans, Matt Hamill, um, pretty much like everyone I, I think in in the uh, middleweight division, but uh, never got that title shot. Um, he lost to Tim Kennedy recently, I want to say maybe two or three months ago, so I'm not sure where he goes from here, but um, maybe couple more wins maybe someone gets injured they slot him in for a championship fight who knows uh, but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, again I didn't think I'd ever do one for Michael Bisping but here it is uh, enjoyed meeting him thought he was really good for the fans and really good to the fans so anyways 
Visit me at theflyingarmbar.com and UFC Superfan out.